Howdy folks, this is Checkers, and this of course is Fallout 76, and we are here today in Fallout 76 to talk a bit about Camp Theory. What is Camp Theory? Well, what is a camp? It's the theory of what to do with the camp, what can we do with the camp, what was intended for the camp, and what will the game allow us? Now, as the title of the video says, I will tell you that at the moment, camps are far more sandcastles than settlements. These are not the standard, sturdy, almost immortal settlements of Fallout 4. The server can pick up your camp. The server will pick up your camp if anything intersects with the camp when you log in. So whether that is a ghoul, a rad rat, another player, another player's camp, or even I suspect you yourself, there is a moment when you log in right before your camp spawns in. I'm not entirely sure, but I get the feeling that if you walk into one of your camp's objects, there is a chance that the server will just pick up your camp for you. Either way, camps get picked up pretty readily, pretty often. Now, that's not to say that you can't work against that. If you build your camp in a high traffic area where a lot of people are going to be going, you can expect your camp to be picked up fairly often. If you build your camp out on the fringes of the map, literally outside of where everyone will go, I think you have a much better chance of the server leaving your camp alone. However, if you're building a very elaborate camp, that might not be what you want. Maybe you want people to see all of your grand work. Wants and intentions at the moment are irrelevant. The game definitely has certain ways that it feels about the camp. And Bethesda, I think, too, is not very clear on how they feel about the camp. Much like many other things in Fallout 76, there seem to be two minds working on the camp. In one case, it seems very much that Bethesda intends the camp to be a forward base of operations. So you go to a new area, you drop your camp, you have your workbenches, and you have your stash so you can go into a building, clear it out, come back to your camp really quick, drop off all the junk, scrap it, build, repair, whatever you need to do. However, there is also another mind working on the camp that gives us plans for things like grand pianos and antique rocking chairs. And I don't know too many forward bases of operation that require grand pianos and rocking chairs. So, the gameplay tells us one thing, and that is that the camp is very much a forward base of operation, and it's there for your convenience. The game objects and intentions seem to tell us something different in that, no, no, you should be able to build a fairly permanent structure and get very elaborate with it, and oh, you know, you could blueprint it and then it would all be safe. Except blueprints have budgets, and camps have budgets, and if you exceed any of those, you have a problem. Right now, my best advice to you is do not build elaborate camps, unless you have the kind of mindset that is okay with your sandcastle being torn down by the incoming tide. If you're good with that, build as elaborately as you like. If you are sort of in the middle, you don't know exactly how to address this fascinating camp issue, I'm going to tell you this. Build modularly. Instead of building one overall grand structure with many objects and different levels, build in like block units of maybe one by one squares or maybe one by two or at most two by two squares. Then blueprint those. When your camp moves, like if you go to the other side of the map and place your camp down, everything that you've blueprinted will be stored as the blueprint. 
Now, this is important, and I have another video on blueprints, and I'm going to link it right here in the cards in the upper right-hand corner, so you can learn more about blueprints if you're not sure. At the top of the crafting window, we have recent, stored, and blueprints. Blueprints are like patterns. They are a cookie cutter, but no cookie. Stored are the cookie cutters with the cookie in them or the cookies themselves. So once you've built a thing and the camp moves, everything goes to stored, or you can store things there yourself. If you've made a blueprint of, say, a modular structure or any structure, the blueprint and the things that were associated with it should be stored as a blueprint, and so it'll have a blueprint behind it and part of the object, and you can look at it and then place your modules back the way you want them to be. To me right now that is the very easiest way to do this. To build modularly, have like a one by one room that has your tinker's bench, a one by one room that has your uh, weapons bench, another one for your armor bench. You could store them together and then re install the module and then spread them out that's up to you sort of think of it as putting more things in the box for storage and then when you want to place them taking them out and placing them but that's really up to you but anytime you build more extravagantly and i mean even just a little more extravagantly maybe you've put a light up maybe you've put a poster up very often what happens is fallout 76 will consider the object floating even if the base structure is, as you can see, well seated on the ground. So if you want to avoid that hassle, build modularly, build simply, and then connect the modules when you put your camp back together or when you move your camp. Now, there is something else we should talk about in camp theory. Yes, you can use your camp as a forward base of operations, but you can also use your camp as a fast travel point for free. Now, I spend an inordinate a number of caps making these videos. It costs me every time I move the camp. When I need to reshoot something, I need to move the camp. If you're like me and you're spending caps, whether it's to move your camp or to buy plans from Protectrons at train stations, whatever the case may be, it gets really expensive to fast travel across the map. So what you can do, you have uh, Vault 76, which is a free fast travel point. You can put your camp somewhere else and use these two fast travel points to get around the map more easily. However, that means you're not going to be able to use your camp as a forward base of operations which, depending on how encumbered you are, is really, again, one of these things that's going to be up to you. Is it worth more to have the free fast travel point to get to another portion of the map, or is it worth more to have your base of operations right here, right now? And I usually use my camp as a free fast travel point. I try and get my weight down, which is challenging, but I will do it so I can keep the fast travel point and I keep my camp far enough away from traffic so that people won't run into it. Not that I'm worried about them destroying it, but I'm worried about them being in its space when I come back into the game. But close enough to things that I'm interested in using that it makes a very useful fast travel point. So if you have Fallout 76 in the middle of the sort of eastern, sorry, western portion of the map, you could say, for instance, put your camp in the middle of sort of the western portion of the map, and then you would have good coverage, at least decent coverage, so that your fast travel wouldn't be too exorbitantly expensive in one direction or another. And of course, you know, you can move your camp to give yourself another free fast travel point wherever you want to go. So if you know you're going to be working an area of the map a lot, 
not only could you use it as a forward base of operations, but you could use it as a fast travel point for free and then use Vault 76 as your other free fast travel point. So there are many uses to the camp and many ideas behind how to use it. And I'm sure I haven't covered them all. These are just some basic ideas that I've thought of. And so far in my own experience, building modularly isn't quite as attractive or fun as building more extravagantly, but it is infinitely easier to get my camp into some usable order after it's been moved. So if you take away anything from this, whether you use your fast travel point as, or sorry, your uh, camp as a fast travel point or a forward base of operations, I would truly recommend at the moment, at least, building modularly. Just building these one by one structures or one by two or two by two structures so that you can easily reassemble your camp once it's been moved. And remember, blueprint, blueprint those structures because that will make it very much easier for you. And also, also, also remember, blueprints are the pattern. They're the cookie cutter without the cookie. Once you've made a blueprint and moved your camp, that structure will be under stored and you'll see a little blueprint behind it and that will be the cookie cutter with the cookie in it. And if you have any loose objects or loose structures that you didn't blueprint, those cookies will also be under stored or at least they should be. I've heard many people tell me that they are not there. Just build wisely. Alrighty folks, this has been Checkers with a look at Camp Theory in Fallout 76. I hope you found the video informative and maybe even just a little entertaining. I would like to invite you to subscribe. Thank you kindly if you are already subscribed. I'd also like to point out that if you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and links to other videos that I've made. Most of all though, I would like to ask you to please Please, take care.